This is a US Marine Corps Sea Knight, uh, and this is a helicopter that was used until I think maybe five years ago by the by the US Marines to to, to uh, they call it an assault transport. So it, 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 they fly troops from from ships to the beach or behind the beach, and uh, this is a, this is a I, I had a model of a Sea Knight which I first built in I don't know 2007 or 2008, a long time ago. And uh, there are so many new parts that LEGO has made, like the, like the curved slopes and the cheese slopes and uh, uh, all kinds of uh, clear elements that uh, a while ago I decided it's beginning to look its age. Right? I'm, I'm beginning to look a little older, my helicopter looks a bit older, it's time to, it's time to start afresh. And uh, so it's a, it's a complete re rebuild of a model that I've had for about 10 years. Um, again, it's much more rounded, the fuselage is rounded, the cockpit windows, they taper a bit. Um, and, and the bit that I'm really proud of is, uh, is, is the aft end. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you that. You know, this, the, with, again, with the small slopes, it's, it's, it, it, it tapers nicely to a point. Oh, sorry. And uh, oh, another cool feature, you know, the, uh, the rotors on this. It's a tandem rotor, right? It doesn't, doesn't have a, a single main rotor and a tail rotor, but it has two uh, rotor blades that you know, t are, are synchronized, okay. and uh, so there's a there's a gear in here, and then a shaft that runs down the length of the roof, and then it's connected with universal joints to the front one, so that they that, that they don't touch. Um, That's a really great design. Thank you. I uh, I appreciate that. It's a uh, yeah. I like it. Obviously. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm looking at it as though I'm in love with it, which is a bit silly, but you know, it's a. Uh, it's a sleek looking helicopter. One thing I noticed is you is that some custom decals you've got yeah, throughout the building? Yeah, yeah, and in the light here, they look pretty awful actually. No, yeah, they, I print them myself and then I, I, I attach them with adhesive tape, but with these with these curva with the curvature, um, it doesn't stick very well. So I should I should I should do something about that. Well it's not the best aircraft, so it's it's <laughs> And uh, oh yeah, the sand blue is something I like about this as well. I mean it's a color that's a bit rare. Right, like the olive green. And stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But if you if you look at if you look at these helicopters and, and you know, what they used to look like until a couple of years ago, they often were a bit bluish on top. And I thought that adding the sand blue made it look a lot more interesting than if it would have been completely gray. So that was that was kind of neat. Pretty much anything is more interesting than all gray. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Yeah. And uh, you know, it's got some. I, I showed you the rotors. Um, the troops can enter from the back. So there's a there's a ramp, but obviously they'd hit their heads if, if, if this if this were all. So now let's see whether I can demonstrate this without breaking things, which is rare. I know you guys must get demonstrations that go wrong all the time. Oh, there you go. So the, the upper part can fold up, and you can see the you can see the seats inside, and uh, there's not a lot of interior, right? You know, soldiers have to have to do with very few creature comforts, and uh, my helicopter shows that a bit. So the, so it has the ramp. And uh, the rotor blades can fold because it's a sh it's a ship-based helicopter, okay. and I've got the I've got the crew entry hatch here, and a little fold-down seat for the crew chief, and uh, it has it has side-mounted guns to, to for for, for self-defense. So there are a lot of little details, and I like building interiors. So there's just little trinkets inside. Definitely, yeah. You get all those little details in there, and some movement going with the doors and stuff. I like that. Yeah, we've we've been we've been there are a lot of military builders here, and we've been discussing this sort of thing, and we care a great deal about this sort of little little stuff. And uh, even even you know, people might not actually see it when when the when when it sits here on the table, but we know what's in there, and that matters, <laughs> exactly. right?